What's up, Ranger Nation? It's your boy JB, and I'm here today with um, Ranger Talk. This is going to be number 12 of Ranger Talk. Now, you guys, I did take off last week because last week, if I got on here and did a video, it would have been a very, 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 very short video because not a lot happened last week in Ranger News. So I was like, you know what? Let's just wait until next week. You know, maybe more stuff will happen in a week's time frame. So some stuff did happen this week that I, you know, between last week and this week that I want to talk about. So we are here for a new episode of Ranger Talk. So you guys sit back, enjoy the video, and leave your comments once the video is done. So without further ado, we're just going to jump on ahead into the topics of this week in Ranger News. All right, you guys, so the first thing that I want to talk about is merchandise news. So it's not a lot of merchandise going on right now, but I did notice last week that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 3, the limited edition steelbook is going to be released, and that will be released on August 13th of this year. So you guys can pre-order it if you would like. Um, it is currently on Shout Factory, and they have on here for a list price of $34.99, but they have another price which they have a line through the um 34.99 and is currently 27.99 and like i said you guys can pre-order that if you want so on the cover of it it has the red rangers mask so since it's season three we would assume that that would be rocky since rocky was the red ranger in season three of mighty morphin power rangers so mighty morphin power rangers season three so that will consist of when the rangers got their ninja powers and then it will also I wonder if it will it has to it would include um when the um alien rangers showed up as well because if you guys remember back when they released the um the box sets a few years ago um they released all of them and what well, they had them all in that one box that was you know mighty Morphin power rangers in one box and then you had um you had uh zeo turbo space and lost galaxy in another box and then, you know, a few years later, they had Lightspeed Rescue, Time Force, Wild Force. And I think that I think that was it with the with that box. It was Lightspeed Rescue, Time Force, Wild Force and Ninja Storm, I believe. No, I got the box over here on my floor and I don't know. But yeah. And then, you know, they had after that, they had RPM, Jungle Fury, Operation Overdrive, Mystic Force, SPD and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I, okay, I think I have it right. I think I have it correct. Um, Cause I think for um, the second box set, it was seven through, it was eight through 10. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I know I, I can correct my own self cause I can go look at the box, but I just don't feel like doing it right now. So like I said, Steelbook can get it on uh, Shout Factory's website if you do want it. Um, I don't know if it comes with anything special, um, but I'm like I said, I'm pretty positive it will have to include the Alien Rangers. Now, what I was, what I was, I got myself all turned around. <clears throat> if you guys remember, even after they released all those um, the box sets, they did they did go ahead and individually release each season, and um, the Alien Rangers had their own you know DVD. And uh, speaking of which. I need to buy season two of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the one, um, the one that goes with the power transfer, because that DVD skips, and I don't know why my DVD skips, because I don't really watch that season that much. I don't really watch that one as much as I watch the other ones. That's weird, because it skips from Goldar's vice versa on down. <clears throat> and really, truly, when Adam and them took over as the Rangers, the main episode in the first half of the season that I really liked was um where to smoke that fire because i actually still have that vhs tape to this day i just aged myself but that's enough for the merchandise news and i'm rambling but like i said you guys if you guys do want to um get the still book of season three it is on shop Fetter's website and it will be released in the u.s and canada on august the 13th i think i said and it's 27.99 so we're gonna move on to the next topic you guys actually let's go back to merchandise let's just talk a little bit more about merchandise because i just thought about some stuff that i've saw this week so i do know that the um the uh devon action figure you know the devon um the um 
oh god what is that the lightning collection of Devin. i know that that toy is out i have not looked anywhere to see if i can find it but i know his has been released and i think we are in the second phase of the um beast morphers toys i think blaze and roxy have been released i'm not entirely positive i haven't been to any stores i went to a toy store last week in um in a, you know a few miles away from where i live it's in frisco texas i went there and it's a toy store in the uh, stonebriar mall and only toy that i saw in that mall in that store in the toy store that i found was the um the beast x morpher which i should have bought it but i didn't i still need my beast x morpher um so yeah i think i think if i'm not mistaken that we're in our second phase of the power rangers beast morphers toys i'm a little how many people out there are having withdrawals for beast morphers right about now i know i am definitely without a doubt having withdrawals i do get to sleep in on saturday mornings but i'm really 100 percent missing beast morphers at this point so now we're going to move on to my next topic that i want to talk about all right so now i'm going to talk about some gaming news not much going on in the gaming world right now you guys know that um battle for the grid is still available um i still have not gotten my copy yet i need to get on it um and i have not played legacy wars in quite a few i haven't play, played legacy wars in a few months but speaking of legacy wars last week it was um released on um out there to the world that we have a new character that is on um legacy wars and that character is Devin Daniels, the Red Beast Morpher Ranger. Um, man, I need to log into the game because I really want that character. I want to see what his, you know, what kind of attacks he has. That would be that. That's gonna be interesting to see what kind of attacks he has on Legacy Wars. I have a love hate with Legacy Wars. Like, I I love Legacy Wars, but then sometimes I don't like Legacy Wars at the same time because I feel like sometimes I lose a battle that in the beginning of it. I'm winning, but then out of nowhere, the person just comes back and completely beats me and beats me with some very weak moves that I that I do counter, but they get the they get the credit for it. I'm like, but my move was ten times my move was a little bit stronger than their move, but that's just how I feel personally. I don't know how anybody else feels out there, but you know, I, like I said, I have a love hate with the game, and I'm you know I'm hearing some good stuff and bad stuff about um, Battle for the Grid. Like I said, eventually I'm going to get the game, um, and you know I'll put I'm uh, I have a so I have a PS4, so whoever out there has a PS4, um, just we'll you know we'll talk about it in the comment section. You can uh, leave your uh, gamer tag, and I'll be sure to add you guys. And I will also in the um, description bar on this week's video, I'm. I won't put it up right after right when I upload this because I typically upload right after I record and edit, and I don't feel like going to my living room to you know mess with my um, PS4 right about now. But sometime you guys will, I probably will put it in the comments at some point what my um, gamer tag is on my PS4, so that way you know you guys can add me and you know we can just go from there. Um, I do have a, I know it's not on Xbox 360. But I also have a 360 and I will also put that up there as well. If anybody has an Xbox, you can add me on Xbox or PS4 and we can go from there. All right, you guys. So last but not least, what I really want to talk about is good and is bad with it. So we got a lot of news for Beast Morphers this week. And again, we're on hiatus. So kind of bittersweet and that's actually going to be the first thing that we're going to talk about is the hiatus so we are currently on hiatus until maybe like um late august early september but i'm pretty i'm pretty sure we'll, it'll probably be like mid to late august that beast morphers returns for the second half of the season which i still am very confused as to why we do that when beast morphers season one was filmed a year ago and beast morphers season two just well, I'm going to stop right there. But, and you know what? Actually, let's talk about it. Beast Morpher Season 2 just finished, just wrapped filming last week. So I'm still kind of confused as why. I, I mean, I, I, I guess I get it because of, you know, their deal with uh, Nickelodeon. But it's really stupid to me as a fan. I think it's ridiculous. 
that they split the season up. Like, I mean, I know you got to go to a season finale. I get that. But the fact that they take the hiatus, you know, the fact that they do it this way, like, why not show... Because it's, I mean, why not go back to like what it used to be when it was on Fox Kids or, you know, with Disney? Like, give us a whole season in a year so that way we don't have to split it in two. Now, with the Beast Morphers cast, I'm enjoying the cast. So I'm kind of happy that we have them for another year. But I just think it's, I think it's overkill at this point. Like, I really do. Like, why not, why didn't, why don't you just film all, because it's what, 40 something episodes? Why not film them all at one time? Split them up you know have half in the um in the early you know go back to like it was with you know back in the day february power rangers premieres go to the season finale maybe you know end of may well before the end of may come back in i think power rangers back in, the, in you know um when i was a kid used to come back in september but they would run for so you know they would run for um x amount of you know they would run and run and one thing I think we could do without with Beast Morphers, not Beast Morphers, but Power Rangers in general, get rid of all the filler episodes that we get throughout the season. Get rid of the Halloween episode. I hate, yeah, I'm sorry, but I hate the Halloween episode. It's corny and it makes no sense. And then the Christmas episode, why do we need that? I don't understand why we need a Halloween and a Christmas episode. And most people don't even watch the Christmas episode um unless you know we like last year i think a lot of people watched the christmas episode because of sledge coming back but other than that you know what i have never watched the power rangers christmas episode i didn't watch the samurai or super samurai mega force super mega force dino thunder i mean not, not, not dino charge or ninja stick i don't watch none of them i haven't watched the christmas episode of power rangers since i'm dreaming of a white ranger um, a season to remember and and listen to those those are years ago those were back in the beginning days mighty morphin zeo you know alpha's magical christmas um you know yeah i haven't watched a christmas episode since those and even then back in the day those me as a kid i'm gonna be honest with you i actually hated those episodes I actually really do hate I'm Dreaming of a White Ranger and I hate A Season to Remember. Literally hate those episodes because there's no action in it. I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'm, and as a kid, you know, all about Santa, but, you know, I was like, why are the Rangers not fighting gold? You know, I'm Dreaming of a White Ranger. What was it? What happened in that episode? Cause I know, it, I know it revolved around Goldar and Rito. I do remember that. Oh my God. You know something I just thought about, you guys? <laughs> a season to remember. Think about a season to remember, okay? Since we're talking about Power Rangers and we're talking about the hol holiday episodes, think about a season to remember. In a season to remember, Tommy and Kat were old and they were married. <sighs> so, <laughs> and you guys remember in Dimensions in Danger, a lot of us were wondering if they were married. So we played that out. We played that scene out 20 years ago that they were married. Oh, God. I do not like Catherine. I've never been a fan of Catherine. I was always a Kimberly fan. I didn't like Catherine until Zeo. That's when I really started to like Catherine. And then with Turbo, she kind of played that damsel in distress role too much. And she got on my nerves. I'm getting off topic. I was talking about Beast Morphers. But, you know... That was just talking about the Christmas episodes. I, I think that Hasbro, when they do their renegotiating with um, sub, um with uh, Nickelodeon, cut the Halloween episode, cut the Christmas episode, and ask for you know a shorter height, either a, either a you know a, a longer season in one, or and cut the hiatus shorter. Like I think that would make a lot more sense to me. I don't know. So then also from Beast Morphers, we we got um someone tw someone tweeted about they did a you know a, a movie with uh Christina Ho, the Beast Morphers Green Ranger. And a lot of us was like, so wait a minute, is she gonna be a Green Ranger? Like, ah, that'd be cool. And you know, when it comes when I think about um, you know, uh Betty being a Green Ranger, I think I kind of take it as a 
not I don't want to you know downplay if she is actually a ranger but I think of it like kind of a how a joke in a sense if you guys remember in SPD on um, the episode title boom when boom was the orange ranger well he was dreaming that he was an orange ranger and then he created the, he created that costume where he was an orange ranger you know what Kelson Henderson has lost a lot of weight I just thought about that because he was heavier when he played um, boom and then when he played Mick and every when he played Mick, he had really slimmed down. Like he 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 looks great, but um yeah. So you know, I wonder if it's gonna be something like that where Betty is dreaming that she's a Green Ranger. But you know, I was I'm, and I also was thinking, you know, as as quirky and you know um, how bumbling you know like they act like bumbling fools her and, um uh ben it would work for her because we got to remember we have had one ranger that was not a traditional ranger you know was a klutz um got you know his his weapon was you know he would always you know his weapon he would always make you know make some errors and that is my boy Ziggy, who I absolutely 100% love. I love Ziggy Grover. He's my dude. Ugh. Okay. So then here's the thing that I was, you know, talking about with this. Uh, I, I got sidetracked, but I'm back on track. So the thing that I was talking about with the um, with the hiatus is France. So France is going to get the uh, the second half of the season before the U.S. gets it. It actually will start next month, which is June, and every year I hate that I hate the fact that France does get the second half of every season before we do. But it never really bothered me as much as it does now, because I never really I never kept I didn't keep up with the spoilers when um, Dino Charge was on, but I did happen to see them. Every, I saw them all with Super Ninja Ninja Steel and Super Ninja Steel. And, you know, last year I talked about the spoilers on this channel, but this year for Beast Morphers, I'm not going to, I'm not going to look at anything spoiler related. I'm not going to come on the channel and spoil it um, for any of my, you know, subscribers who watch me, who watch Beast Morphers. I'm just not going to do that. I, I just don't want to do it. And I don't think that that's right. But, you know, I don't know what their dis distribution deal is because they'll start the season where we started, but then they'll keep going and they'll in the season before we even see the season and we'll have those spoilers and I just don't want to see that like I don't think that's right I think that since we got it first we should get the when the hiatus come back we should get the hiatus like I mean we should get the episodes after you know I'll turn myself around with the hiatus since we got the episodes first when the hiatus ends it should be us who gets them first and not France I, I just don't think that that's right that's just how I feel you know, but, you know, again, personal opinion, how I feel. And then lastly, you guys, the last thing that I want to talk about as far as Beast Morphers is the um, the Power Rangers team up that we are going to get in the second half of the season of season two of Beast Morphers. Now, I don't believe that with the, um, the team up that we'll get in the first half. So it'll probably come after the hiatus like um, Dimensions in Danger did and how um, the legendary battle did. The legendary battle i'm not even gonna talk about that we're just gonna keep keep it pushing so we got some news this week um or last week i know i mentioned that the um the i don't know if i, I don't remember if i last talked about that that the dino charge team is there we got tyler we have um sir ivan and we have who else was it oh we got coda now i have heard some rumors that chase is back but you know, I, and I've saw a lot of pictures. I saw a picture of Chase on um, social media where he's in his suit. But they're saying that that was from a commercial um, for Dino Thunder. I mean Dino Charge. And then um, Brenda Mejia, I follow him on uh, IG, and he posted um, that you know some throwback Thursdays of him and his with his stunt actors. And I'm like, why of all, why would now, why now would you post stunt people? kind of interesting really interesting but we're not gonna talk we, we're gonna let that go and then also we have um we know that poisandra will be there i love me some poisy P 
Swayze is my second favorite next to Trakina. Like Trakina is number one in my book and always and forever will be number one in my book. If we get somebody else that comes as, as badass as Trakina is, then Trakina, nope, Trakina is going to always, she's going to always hold number one in my heart. That is my girl. Like I love Trakina. She was fine. Amy Miller is still fine to this day. Like, damn, I looked at her on um, Instagram a few months ago and I'm like, shit, she still look good. Whoo! Lord, she still look good. Um, so yeah, Poise will be back. So we can kind of assume that Sledge will be there as well. Um, we did get some um, photos, some behind the scenes photos. We saw that we have some foot soldiers in there. So we got the trip toys from Dino Thunder. We got the um, the Vivix from Dino Charge. We saw some putty patrollers. And I think those were Rita's putty patrollers. They looked like Rita's putty patrollers and not Lord Zed's putty patrollers. So I wonder, I wonder how they gonna work that. Because Rita's putty patrollers, we never saw, you know what, they never even explained what the hell happened to Rita's putty patrollers. Lord Zed just came in with his, ba his batch of putties who were goofiest. I love, if you guys go back, I love watching season two of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers when the putties would just come in. They will make all them little weird moves. Like, I just love, <laughs> it was funny to me. Um, so yeah, we saw that. And also, so since I'm talking about that, you know, Dino Thunder. Now see, when it comes to Dino Thunder, the Triptoids, they were like secondary foot soldiers next to the Tyrannodrome. So I don't know why we didn't get any, I don't, I don't know if we we're getting Tyrannodromes or not. I would love to see some Tyrannodromes. Like those were the main, you know, foot soldiers that the Rangers fought in um, Dino Charge with the Tyrannodrome. The Triptoids didn't come in until that episode where Ethan was sucked into his game. And that was like episode eight, right? Eight? I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know, I do remember when the Trip Toys were introduced. And that was, like I said, when Ethan was sucked into that game. Um, so speaking of Dino Thunder, so um, none of the Dino Thunder, the little, none of the Dino Thunder Rangers will be um, present in the, uh, the team up episode, which is not really surprising. Well, kind of sort of is because I'm surprised that they didn't get Jason David Frank and uh, um, Jeffrey um, Jeffrey who played uh, Trent and Kevin Donahue. I'm surprised they didn't get those three of all people. And I know a lot of people have been talking about, well, why is, um, you know, Emma LaHaya not going to be there? If you guys, and I keep saying this every week that I talk about it, Emma LaHaya, she is on Cloak and Dagger. So she might be, it might not be contractually, you know, possible for her to come. And then she's also tired of people calling her Kira, which I understand it. Like I said, she's playing another character. She's on Cloak and Dagger. Her character's name is Bridget um, slash Mayhem. So I definitely understand where she's coming from. She hasn't played Kira since 2007 when she was on, um, you know, Operation Overdrive um in the uh team up episode what was that name of the episode all once a ranger yeah so so yeah um so so speaking on that when it comes to the dino thunder i if they're not in the episode completely then that'll be that'll be okay i'm cool i'll be cool with that but i know a lot of people have been talking about the mighty more from power rangers and the um dino thunder rangers if they do show up they probably would do voice, you know, they probably have voice actors to do them. Or they might do like they did in season one of Mighty Morphin, pa season two of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And they might do like they did with Kendrick's in um, Lost Galaxy. So if you guys ever look, if you guys go look at Lost Galaxy, just go look at, um, I can't remember what episode I noticed that Kendrick's was no longer around. I think it started around the episode. Um, so Kendrick's stopped, Kendrick's was Val Valerie Vernon, she um, dipped out. Half actually, she dipped out halfway in season two. Like I can tell you, what episode I noticed that she. Um, if you guys go look at the episode where um, Scorpius was defeated, I can't remember that the name of that episode right off the top of my head. But go look at that episode. There was a stunt. There was a stunt actor. She was not there because you, if you notice, a lot of times she would be looking down. 
or you know um, she would be covered up by somebody because that wasn't Valerie Vernon but then you know bits and pieces in the episodes you would see her it was weird like if you guys go and also um, go look at um, what episode is it if you guys will look at um, to the 10th power look at them when they morph that part of it one scene was Valerie Vernon the other scene was the other actress and you know they might also do like what they did in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 2 with Jason, Zack, and Trini. So, if you guys look at that, they did... Oh, the editing was choppy at best. But I guess it was also dealing with budget. Because if you notice, Tommy wore green a lot in the first half. And he was a White Ranger. And that was because they were using stock footage from Season 1 with Jason, Zack, and Trini. So they would have the voice actors do one scene. And then they would show another scene with... Jason, Zach, and Trini, and I'm like, that was not cohesive at all. Like, you have one, you have two different voices, and you can clearly hear it. So they might do something like that. But um, now, here's my hope when it comes to the uh, team up episode. I hope that it's not a one a one episode. I hope it's like a continuation. I hope it's like a part two. Like, I hope it's a whole hour. Well, not like a whole hour episode. Maybe like you know, back in the day. With um to the tenth power, you had that episode. Then you had the power of pink the next day, or you know like with Trakina's Tr revenge. You know that was two parts. Um, Trakina's revenge was two parts. Time for Lightspeed was on one part at one episode event, and Time for Lightspeed really wasn't that good to me. Really wasn't. Time for Lightspeed reinforcements from the future. That was two parts. Um, Forever Red was one part. Wild Force, Wild Force was the last one until um, Wild Force was last until Dino Thunder, which was a two-part episode, and then SPD. You had you had Wormhole, and you had the I can't remember what the episode when Broodwing brought Kira, uh, Kira, Ethan, and uh, Connor to the to the year twenty twenty five. Can't remember what that episode's name was but you know you had two episodes with that one and then uh sp we didn't have anything with mystic force and then um operation overdrive that was a two-part episode and then everything else has been 30 minutes so uneventful but you guys that is it for this week in ranger talk like the video i know i kind of rambled a lot Leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, share this video with anybody that you know watches Power Rangers, and um, I will see you guys later um, tomorrow or Monday for Kishu Ryu Sentai Ryu Soldier. So until then, Ranger Nation, bye.